How goes it, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. This is the main event. This is the one that CJ has been building up to in Las Venturas. The Ocean's Eleven style heist that went through with a lot of elaborate planning and detail that CJ and Woozy and a bunch of other people are going to break the bank at Caliglia's Casino. That's right. This is the mission. Now, I will go through the walkthrough, and please, after the walkthrough, stay tuned because I have a little extra fun put together for this video. So let's get on with breaking the bank at Caliglia's Casino. We all good? Yeah, we're good. All right, see you at the back door. Let's roll. Carl, can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Okay, we're en route in the armored truck. Okay, I'm gonna get a move on. It's a short drive down the strip to get to Caliglia's, where CJ is going to use the key card that he received from Millie in the Key to Her Heart mission and, you know, let his friends into the casino to rob it and get lots of money and piss off Salvatore Leon, who is in control of the casino. Now, I'm going to talk over here because you don't want to attract attention in the casino. So, all weapons away. And then you walk into the casino. The best route to take to the employee entrance and not waste a lot of time is once you get into the main casino floor, you have to just simply take a right and walk along the top part here. And you can see that it will get you to the employee entrance which you see to the to the right and you just walk down and you have a conversation with this guy ain't seen you around here before you knew yeah i'm uh standing in for jerry he's ill who's jerry shut up what <coughs> i think i got jerry's call okay after some bad acting use the swipe card and you got to go to the backup generators one level down and you got to chuck the stuff into the ventilation the sleep gas into the ventilation shaft and yeah that's not working i'll give it another shot here yeah it, it, you got to have really good aim and then once you get it down the shaft if you don't keep missing you end up with a a one damn you end up with a one star wanted level, which is really freaking weird, and this is pissing me off. Yeah, that just threw that away, and oh, oh man. Well, easy does it, and now the guards go sleepy pie, and you can go uh, down to the area, and yeah, you want to arm up right away because now you can go down to the, you're past the, secure door and you go down yeah i'm walking into this you go down into the basement here and yeah there's the guys the power went out and you got to go back up to the area where um the other guys are and this is the secure door that cj is supposed to get through and use his swipe card now if you oh man this sucks okay i'm running around and wasting a whole ton of time and there's the area where the secure door is 
with the night goggles on. And yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you don't want to waste time when I'm doing it. There's the secure door and you use the swipe card. But don't worry, you still got plenty of time. I mean, it's just run over to the area and here we go through the hall and you got to open up that big gate. So just run over here, grab the forklift, and then you'll be able to let people in and it all kicks in automatically once you open the door. Well done, Carl. Now it's time for us to do our part. Try to stay close. Okay, team. I've gone over the layout to this place so I know it back to front. Everybody follow me. Damn! The devious bastards have changed the layout! Don't worry. I'll take the lead, boss. Good idea. Everybody, follow him. This is timed, so I recommend using the M4 and getting out ahead of these guys and sneaking like they are and just shooting the uh, security people. And again, you're going to encounter them. You just sneak around and they got vending machines and video games down here. But these guys, the other guys that are helping you, they're kind of just in the way. And you just got to fight around them and you should have enough body armor to take hits from the security people like that guy and once you get to the vault you can blow the door and also pick up some c4 charges because then you have to um well blow up generators hey i was just about to say that sorry boss not far now everybody stay alert Blimey oh yeah stay alert now. Good, the stupid okay, brother. we'll set the charges while you watch the door. Okay, boss. Hey, I'm on it. Hurry it up, gentlemen. They know something's wrong. Someone else is in the system. Hey, what's the problem? Somebody's trying to bring the emergency generators back up. What's really odd is you can't go back up to the emergency gener generators right away. Your team has to be safe. If you do that, now you're wasting time. And you come back down and you're told, hey, you can go up to the generators okay, and I'll blow them up. up to the generator See, room and shut them down. I'll head Good. back to the generator room and blow them up. Yeah, great. Generators blown up, and now you can go back down and defend your team using the M4. They blow up the door, and then Casino Security comes along, and well, yeah, you gotta fight your way back. But it's not that hard. You got the M4, and you just shoot down the Casino Security. But run in back and get a new uh, armored vest on so that you can, uh, you know fight this casino security. Okay, then we about to have some fun. I forgot what I was gonna cook. Screw you, asshole. Okay, you heard uh, Zero Curse Berkeley. The reason these guys are coming at you is, hey, Berkeley notified them because um, Zero bragged to him, which 
yeah, I guess zero wanting to be better than Berkeley and bragging about it is what really got you in trouble. But you stay ahead of everyone and you just shoot the bad guys down. Again, your armor is solid enough to withstand this gun battle. And this is the inverse of the way you got in. And these security guys, well, they go down quickly with the M4. So, yeah, like I said, the M4 is the best weapon next to the AK. And actually, it is a better weapon than the AK. And you just take these guys down. I've unloaded the police bikes. Everybody in. You two, change into your police uniforms. While the other guys get away, CJ has to fight his way back up to a service elevator okay, CJ, and provide right cover for the guys as a head. decoy, oh, like which kind of makes no Any sense. I mean, help, they oh, are oh, in a security um, armored on, car, and of course, yeah, Zero's cursing Berkeley for Can alerting the mob, the the but it's Zero's big mouth telling Berkeley about this heist that basically alerted the mob. And CJ, he could have just gone away in the armored car, but now he's the decoy, and he's got to fight his way to a service elevator and then get to the roof. At this point, it's kind of, you got to get up the steps and there's guys waiting for you. But once you get out of the roof, you're now on top of Caliglia's Casino. And you got to follow the rooftops and collect the parachute. And the cops are now after you. Which is not a lot of fun. They're trying to take you down and getting to jump on the roofs kind of sucks. You just kind of, once you start shooting the police who are trying to shoot you, you end up with a four level wanted, or four star wanted level, and they keep dropping guys down to try and fight you. And again, this is why the M4 is the better choice. Once you get over to this roof, what you gotta do is you got to grab the parachute because it won't auto-populate. It replaces some other, um, how shall we say, equipment. And then you got to try and get the parachute open and guide CJ to the roof across the street. Now, you don't fail the mission if you don't get CJ to the helicopter, but uh, it makes it a lot easier to have the helicopter once... I'm obviously missing this. Once you land, um, you have to escape to uh, your safe house at Verdant Meadows, the airport. And again, you're down to a one-star wanted level. Um, you just kind of grab any car or vehicle available here, which I see right there. and. The cops are just going to follow you pretty much almost all the way. And I'm going to fast forward the drive to Verdant Meadows because it sucks that I didn't get on the roof. And yeah, there's a police officer waiting there. Hey, let's get out of the car. But anyway, I'm going to fast forward this because it's boring. Well, we are almost here. You just drive into that helicopter spot. Zero, will you hide? I didn't mean to tell Berkeley. It just kind of came out, is all. We are watching you, idiot! Hey, CJ, calm down!
You better take me home, CJ. After CJ decks Zero for his betrayal, he gets a hundred thousand. Wait, is that yeah, hundred thousand dollars? That kind of sucks. But hey, he ends back up at the Four Dragons Casino, and I'm going to run over and get some body armor. Wait, a phone call here. What's up? You two-bit backstabbing piece of eggplant shit. Salvatore, nice to hear from you too. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. I'm going to fuck you up and your children and your grandchildren. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I got some money that needs spending on some expensive trash. So if you excuse me. You're dead. Dead. Salvatore is pissed, but hey, CJ calmly takes it. Uh, as I stated, there's going to be some fun stuff after this that I've included. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Okay, here's the extra fun stuff that I told you about. Over by Four Dragons Casino, there's four palm trees. And right here in this area is a major uh, spawning point. For people. And so you can set a ch satchel charge down and you'll either get a one star wanted level, which is no big deal, or boom, there you go. You see that? A bunch of people. And you can just keep doing this and get lots and lots of money. And you can take advantage of the fact that it's a quick run to the Four Dragons save area and you can save and make your wanted level disappear, and you can keep repeating this ad nauseum. And let's see, I'm going to grab some more satchel. Someone's shooting at me. What's going on here? I have no wanted level. And wait, the guy on the motorcycle, the police officer on the motorcycle, is shooting at CJ. What the heck? And yeah, he's serious about it. He ain't letting up. So I guess I'm going to have to take him down and then take down the, yeah, nah, I'll just leave the other police alone and go back and save, let the guy shoot me. And again, I'm going to save and make the wanted star level disappear. And hopefully, yep, the police are walking away. So I'm going to flip back to the satchel charge here. And I'm going to walk all the way down to the, again, it's the fourth palm tree. And a ton of people spawn. And it's a spawning area for people. And you just throw a satchel charge down, go back to your remote detonator, run all the way back to, I'm going to see if there's an area I can view it better. Uh, no, they, you know, the thing is they don't spawn from this view. You have to run all the way back down to the sidewalk in front of four dragons and face the four face the fourth palm tree. You gotta be far enough away, essentially, and then you'll see a bunch of people starting to spawn right there. You see all that. You hit the button on the detonator and wipe out a bunch of people and get some more money. That easy. Real fun, isn't it? Kind of evil, too. So, this is my special thing that I'm showing you. And, well, as always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for stopping by. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit!